terms of the um, concept, the mental concept of the music, there's nothing that beats singing. And I learned that so much from Elsie Stema. Um, with the youngest children, it's all about singing. And nobody plays anything that they don't sing first. Yeah. You know, the great uh, Chinese pianist Fu Song, I heard him say once, music must sing, it must dance, and it must speak. It's just beautiful, like Confucian <laughs> wisdom, you know. <laughs> but how often do teenagers think about that? Right. You know, yeah. what are you saying as you, what's, what's the music really saying as, as though you're telling somebody a story? But those concepts also become so inspiring to a kid yeah. and motivating to a kid, and it gives, you have a reason to play. And some that, kids, that, you know, I, you, I encourage kids to make up scenarios to their, or, you know, little plays or whatever, to their, their music. Um, some people are very uh, able to do that, some people are not, it's more abstract. But some will, will be, uh, you know, be shaping the music according to an actual scenario that, they're, yeah. that they've imagined. And I think that's a great thing to I do. I do that with my students, too. Yeah. I try, we have different ways of uh, conceptualizing music. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some people that need to have a story, a program, yeah. you know, and then that story takes them through the movement. Other people oh. hear colors, right. see colors. This is brown, this is green. Itzhak Perlman sees colors when he plays. I mean, shades of brown and things like this. And um, for me, I'm just kind of an adjective person. This is mysterioso, this is tender, this is... So, um, Refinements of you emotion. find what clicks in for that particular student. Right. But we're all talking about things that are, are, are larger senses of music that you're bringing to the experience of playing. Yeah. And, and it's hard, you know, it's hard work to learn to play the instrument. So yeah. uh, it's very easy to get caught up in just the, the Might as well learning get those, an emotional experience. Losing, <laughs> learning those <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. It also has to be very carefully uh, determined because if a child is at the very beginning, uh, you know, the delivery system is not very refined yet. Right. But again, you know, when I first experienced Elsie Sema in, in Venezuela and these little kids were playing Mahler symphonies with their whole heart and I said, what's going on here? How is this possible? Uh, well, we used to say technique for, uh, expression first and technique second. Mm -hmm. And that's oversimplified because they also drill. The There's a lot of truth around. in but, that also. Yeah. But they, they have ways of instilling in the youngest children the, the understanding of what musical expression is, the desire to communicate it. So the kids start with this desire to share, to make contact, to collaborate uh, as uh, humanly, and then uh, learn, and, and that motivates them to learn the instrument. And it's a very, very ideal.